Hello YouTube, hello everyone, and today I want to show you uh, the second set from a company called uh, Suvorov. Here is it is Suvorov Spin. It's a company from Russia and they ship worldwide. Yeah, in my first video I explained everything, um, so I hope no need in further explanation, and uh, I can get directly to the review of the set itself. So, as usual, the link is in the description box, uh, and uh, right now you may see uh, the page of this company and what they have for sale. At this moment you may get the sets exactly the same I have, and um, upcoming restocks uh, and future releases. Uh, they are also interesting. Uh, Renault FT for World War I, KV-1 for uh, Soviets for World War II, uh, German Stuck III, and no idea what it is, uh, uh, some kind of armor vehicle called uh, Falcados, well, really no idea what it is, well, whatever. So, once again, uh, the link is in the description box under the video, and let's uh, you know, let's get back to our set. According to the box, it's a, a Soviet 37mm aircraft gun. And actually, this name bothers me a lot. I suppose it should say anti-air gun, because otherwise some kind of airplane must have this under its belly or on the top of the airplane. Nice idea actually for a steampunk. So, at the back of the box uh, we have some pictures showing us uh, other functions of this set. You may guess, uh, well, actually not a big variety here. So, let's uh, open this set and assemble it. Okay, here it is, here's the model. And uh, first of all, I need to say two things. That uh, the model is rather fragile and uh, if, you, if, if you push somewhere, uh, there is a big chance that uh, the parts uh, will fall uh, fell off. Uh, it's some kind of uh, a negative point, uh, but the positive is that uh, the detailization is um, uh, really cool. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, my English uh, will allow me to describe uh, everything I, I want to say about the uh, wheel parts. Uh, uh, well, okay, never mind. Just uh, we'll show you this uh, model rotated. And I um, need to say that this model has uh, uh, two positions. Uh, it has, um, at this moment, it's in a combat position. You see that uh, the wheels, they don't touch the ground, so you, you can shoot. Uh, the barrel goes up and down if it's uh, anti-aircraft. So, first of all, it, it should uh, uh, shoot high in the sky to shoot airplanes, but also all parties of World War II, uh, all sides of World War II, they used those kind of uh, anti-aircraft uh, uh, guns to shoot uh, tanks. So, it was also used just to shoot uh, directly uh, to destroy tanks. The gun is rotating, but as I've mentioned before, you should uh, do it very carefully. You have uh, two seats uh, for minifigures, and uh, actually the scale is pretty good. I don't have, I think I don't have minifigure at this moment. Well, let me check. Okay, I found a really great minifigure from uh, the minifig company. Uh, it's a Soviet soldier for, uh, well, in, in winter uh, trench coat. I used it for uh, my uh, 1939 winter war, and I will put it in this anti-aircraft gun. Yeah, it fits uh, uh, perfectly, and uh, you may put uh, the second one, so uh, pretty nice uh, minifigure scale uh, anti-aircraft gun. Um, what else? So, as I mentioned before, uh, at this moment this anti-aircraft gun is uh, in combat position, but if you uh, put the wheels down, it will be in uh, a stout position. Okay, here it is, some kind of... So. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the model is rather fragile, so it's uh, uh, of course it's better to use it as a model uh, for a shelf, not for active play, and uh, I'm not sure that it's uh, uh, good enough for animations, because uh, every time you touch, every time you move, well, it's uh, uh, flimsy or flimsy, it's all the same. The model, in general, is nice, but once again, not for active play functions they're rather limited and I, i've shown them all and uh, uh that's it for this uh, uh model once again uh so of spin uh, link is in the description box uh, if you need this model uh for your collection for your shelf uh, then, well be my guest well not exactly mine be their guest and uh, from uh, the three sets uh, i had uh, the only one uh, i still have to show is uh, i think it's uh, i think it's uh, the best one it's russian reconnaissance vehicle 
So maybe in a month or in a two, I'll show the last one. Okay, that's it guys for today. Hope you liked it and it was informative for you. And uh, well, see you later. Goodbye and have a nice day.